Hey, what's up? This is Craig, the Natural Medic, and today I'm at Badlands National Park, just taking a look through. Don't have a lot of time to spend here. You'll probably see me at least film some part of also the missile, or the sorry, the Minuteman Missile National Historic Site. I believe that's the correct name, which is co-run by Badlands National Park. It's a newer national park, a little bit so that way. That used to be a missile site. So anyway, but Badlands National Park is a pretty cool place. This is a backcountry registration area at the Sage Creek Overlook. It's where I'm at right now. But look at this beautiful scenery with all of the beautiful Badlands terrain out there. And you can see it's really accented by the snow. Pretty cool. Um, Badlands National Park is a uh, it's a pretty large park. Um, it's 244,000 acres, I believe, and that that's a pretty good-sized park. There's, there is a significant amount of wilderness area here that uh, people can backpack in, or you can hike and spend time overnight. As wilderness area, as you probably know, wilderness areas, uh, as far as the federal government is concerned, that's areas where you can only go in on foot. There's no mechanized vehicles or motorized vehicles allowed, so it's like a return to primitive uh, status. And uh, some of that uh, area is visible from where I'm standing right now. Pretty cool. But let's go look at some other areas of Badlands National Park. Probably just going to drive through today and going to go over to, like I said, the, the Minutemen Missile site to take a tour of that later. Straight ahead with that pointy Looks like a pointy hill from this point, but I believe that, I'm not certain, but I believe that is Black Elk Peak, which is the highest peak in the state of South Dakota and also the highest uh, mountain between, between the Rockies and the Pyrenees, I believe, in France. Pretty cool. Now I'm at the Badlands Wilderness Overlook. Assumption being that the Badlands Wilderness it's pretty much everything you can see right here. And of course the reason they call it the Badlands, you can probably figure that out. It's a very rugged area, not very much shade, and not very much water. About 55,000 acres of the park, as I said earlier, is available. If you look right here on the map. So I am at the Badlands Wilderness Overlook about right there. This whole area that's a light brown or tan or whatever you want to call it, beige, is the wilderness part of the park. The park's pretty linear overall. And so looking out there, you can see most of that area that's the wilderness. And again, way over there, I'm thinking that's Black Elk Peak, which is in the... Black Hills National Forest, but this is a pretty cool area. With the snow, you can definitely see a lot of definition. There is a trail right down there, or not a trail, but there's a path that somebody goes on. You can see that slippery spot right there. Yeah, I, I started to go down there, then I changed my mind. Here at this overlook, there is Hay Butte, Antler Butte, and then of course, other part of Hay Butte right there. So the nearest butte right here, which is this near one right here, it's called Antler Butte, and it goes pretty much right here. And then Hay Butte is the one kind of back there that kind of goes that way. Both of them are flat on the top, so they were able to get up there and cut the hay and bale it, and they were able to move it down when this was homesteaded. But they weren't able to get there, as the panel says right here, they weren't able to get their stock up there. And, of course, nowadays, any bison that are in the park, they can't get up there either because it's just too steep. You can see how steep those sides are and how rugged and eroded they are. So crazy. Got a small little herd of bighorn sheep right here. Males and females. Cool. So right here you can see a big overview of Badlands National Park. Big overview right here, which I think I showed you a little earlier. This is where I'm at right now. Pinnacles Overlook. Nice little view beautiful so looking straight ahead here you're still seeing the sage creek wilderness area again black elk peak or used to be called harney peak straight out ahead and mount rushmore 
according to this panel is a little bit to the right of that which you can't of course see clear detail on that rapid city biggest city in this part of south dakota is that direction over there can't see that really either but look at all this beautiful terrain here and of course according to this speaking <laughs> From a geological standpoint, this was a pretty recent uh, erosion, about a half a million years ago. When the Black Hills formed, you had a lot of uh, volcanic origin, igneous type rocks. You had other rocks too, but you had a lot of ash that uh, was deposited over here. And that's what the core of the Badlands is. It's like a crystalline type ash that was eroded through rivers and streams over many years. Okay, so if you look out here, this is the called the Yellow Mounds Overlook. You can see these mounds here, yellowish looking soil. So it's showing that there's ammonites, baculites, clams, pearly fossils. So a lot of mollusks that were in the ocean here. Can't see them from here, but there's definitely in that yellow soil according to this panel. There's uh, a ton of fossils in there when this used to be an ancient seabed. So a lot of that washed over. And then after that, it became a jungle. So there was a jungle that was here. And that's weird to think about, a jungle in the middle of South Dakota. <laughs> but that's what happened after the seabed cleared out. It became a jungle about 37 million years ago. The sea was here about 65 million years ago, according to what they can tell from uh, soil and geological samples. That is just wild to think about, don't you think? So I stopped at the Bigfoot Pass picnic area and look at this beautiful view. Wow. The road I just came up on is right there that goes through the middle of the park. I believe that's Highway 240, South Dakota. And I don't know what those buildings are over there. I don't know if that's somebody's an end holding or an edge of the park where there's some housing but that's really the only civilization I have seen since I've been out here. But I'm going to get back on the road and go visit the visitor center. So finishing up at, Big, at Badlands National Park, this is a pretty cool little visitor center. Didn't really have time to stay and check out all the, uh, all the doodaddies inside. My doodaddies, all the little exhibits and things like that. But this is a cool little place right here. Look at this. This is the Ben Raphael. Visitor Center, probably saying that wrong, who was a Sioux leader that they named it after. And now I'm going to go to the Miniman Missile site and do a tour, and maybe I'll get to film some of that. I didn't get a chance to close out the Badlands video on camera, but here it is. Ended up the missile tour was a lot more than I expected. I had to split that into a different video, which is coming soon, probably after this video. I'll do that video. Badlands National Park, if you're in... Western South Dakota, especially if you're in the Black Hills, Badlands really should be a thing you should check out. It's a park you can drive through. There are some hikes. I was pressed for time, so I didn't get a chance to do the hikes there. And then the ones that are not with a boardwalk, etc., are a little bit or a little bit mucky. I didn't get a chance really to see the film or look at any of the exhibits in the visitor center, but I'll be back sometime before I leave for my next adventure and another place. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. I also do tips and tricks and product reviews in addition to adventures like this. And if you have any questions, comments, etc., leave those below and I'll get to those and help you out as soon as I can. Great trip to Badlands. Hope you enjoyed it and until next time, I'll see you on the trail.